Welcome everybody, Red Arrow 23 here. Today we're gonna to be adding another page into the playbook. Uh, we're gonna be using eDog as an example on Humble Pie. We're gonna be going for the top shields. So here we go. Um, before we do kick off, uh, you will need to clear the um, mine path. So you see there's mines all over the map. Um, usually it'll be done in a previous attack because you just won't have the GBE for it on this run. Um, so whoever's taking out these front shield generators or anything like that, we're obviously going for each set of shield generators and then we're going to go for a core rush. So any of the previous attacks, all you need is a boat of heavy, well, one boat of troops and a bunch of smokes and a couple of flares. Um, so calculate that in. Um, if they are green mines, just a whole line of green mines, um, you'll get away with a boat of heavies and you want to flare up first and then drop the boat of heavies. So you flare right up into where this boom mine is and then drop the boat of heavies. So the way, the reason you do that is they start walking off the boat um, nice and spread. So the first heavy is gonna take all the damage from each mine, probably like the first 10 mines and then it will die. And then the next heavy in line will start taking all the hits and the next and the next. If you wait for them to group up on the beach and then flare up, they're all going to take splash damage from each mine and they're not going to they're all going to die in the first 10 mines so you just want to flare up drop your heavies smoke them all the way up um, you will need to re-flare around about where this mortar is um, and if there are boom mines like say for this row here you can use a little bit of gbe to clear the green mines and then do the exact same attack um, but with a boat of riflemen or two uh, depending on what is around. Obviously, uh, each rifleman is going to die as soon as it touches a boom mine. Um, and if you leave a couple of green mines, they might die to that too. That's all good. So the mines are clear now. We're going to be dropping um, some Zookas and heading on up. You do want to be careful of these junctions because um, this mine is probably going to be close enough as we scooch on up. Um, so if you want to buy us to one side, um, well, just... Look at the path that eDog takes and see which mines you think um, would pop and always be cognizant of these hidden mines, anything behind here. Um, but just look at those junctions because you will set up set off some mines if you're not careful. So here we go, eDog's going to be heading up, so he's already cleared that um, those couple of mines just to be a bit safe. You can collect some GBE if you need it. You're gonna to need to know how much um, smokes and how much shocks you're gonna be using once you're up there. So make sure you do have the GBE for that. And then you can either flare right up to the top where that boom mine is straight away, or you can flare around about somewhere here. Um, you obviously wanna be gathered at this first point because um, you want your Zookas nice and tight and then he's just flared just to the left of the core um, in that perfect straight line because he knows he's going to have to reflare anyway uh, and then he can flare up after that so here we go has hit one of those mines at the junction and then he's flared right up to his spot so you can use a med kit if you are going to hit another mine and you get that double smoke at the end usually the furthest one first and then he's flared onto a shield generator so this is where the real business is um he's because you're so far right at the back of the map now it's going to take very long for all your flares and everything to drop um so what you need to do is fire off all your shocks and flare like immediately you might even need to flare before you start shocking because the zookas are going to fire off their shot and they're going to get all of that damage onto that shield generator and then you want them already targeting the next one so the timing is absolutely critical. You can't have two shots on one shield generator because um, you're only going to get four shots out during one um, one round of shocks. So here we go. The shocks are all out and the next flare is landed. And you'll see as soon as it lands, he's already going to be flaring onto the next one. So boom and then boom. So he's flared onto each one. Um, you don't necessarily need to take out all shield generators um, in in the in the one hit. You can get them all down to like very minimal health and then just bat them down. 
Um, you can just use barrage and artillery from there. You want to definitely be getting as much um, damage onto them as you can. You obviously want to spread it out so you get them all down to 10k rather than um, two of them completely down and two left at like 50k each. Because these shield generators are normally like 200, 200 to 350 um, k each. So let's have a look. We're going to watch that timing once again. Um, watch the path. So his he just flags at the beach. Uh, you might need to do a flare landing. Depends on what's going on there. And then he's flared right up. I suggest um, an extra flare point sort of just in between the flame and the boom cannon, maybe just outside, just to keep, get nice grouping because um, you definitely need it moving up. Then we move on up. And then you want to see if you can see the timing on this. So he's flared onto the shield generator. So see if you can see these taps. So that's just there, um, he's fired out all his shocks and then he's flared immediately. So now the Zookas are going to fire their first shot and now he's already tapped the next flare before this flare. So as soon as this flare's landed he's tapping the next one, he's, already, he's tapped it before that next one landed. So then the Zookas all fire onto that one and then the flare lands and they've dropped, he's fired the next one, boom. So you need to be really quick and then the shock runs out and then all the Zookas die immediately. So this is a very, very um, hard attack. The timing needs to be perfect. Um, you need to think about how many boats you need as well if there is a lower um, health on the shield generator. Um, or you have a particular statue set up that means that you can take them down with only six boats. Do that. Um, remembering that you might lose one or two on the walk and the key is to get four sh uh, one shot on each shield generator if you can do that you might be able to get away with just barraging or artillerying it um, so that's the hit breakdown for the playbook of humble back or rear shields hope that helps you out it's a very tough hit um, be sure to check out the other playbook videos they are in the playlist on my channel or you can just search red arrow 23 um, hashtag bb playbook and then the base that you're thinking of um, yeah so check them all out give us a comment down below if you have had if you've done this attack you'll know that it's very hard and give us a thumbs up if you like the video thumbs down if you didn't and subscribe for more boom beach